What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to the final episode of my FIFA 14 World Cup Squad Builder Series. Yes, the World Cup. Even though the World Cup finished about two months ago, this series is only just going to come to an end. I really, really should have done it a lot earlier. But um, I'm pretty happy I've actually finished the series before FIFA 15 does come out. And we can get back into the squad builders and some really, really nice hybrid teams in FIFA 15. And that should be pretty sick, especially loaning players and stuff like that. But uh, the last team is going to be the World Cup squad for Belgium. Last episode was the World Cup squad for Germany. Go and check that squad out, guys, if you want. Um, a fairly solid squad overall. But uh, the World Cup squad for Belgium, we've actually got one international man of the match player in this team, and like again, it's a fairly cheap team. You're not going to see any of expensive players in there um, or your, a load of informs. It's just a cheap team that people can really use, and that's what the whole idea of this channel is really about. Because you see some YouTubers but banking teams that are just way too expensive, no one's going to play for. Yes, that's quite nice to see the team you can make with the amount of coins, unbelievable amount. Uh, but guys are going to be wanting to play with some teams and some good teams, and um, this is going to be the World Cup squad for Belgium, and we're going to start off with the formation and uh, there's no order um, in by anyone's means and um, why Belgium was last it's just down to the order I chose and um, the nations to be picked which I did before the tournament actually started um, it was just because Belgium were the best team in my opinion in the um, final group um, there so let's get straight into the team and the formation formation is going to be the 3-4-1-2 uh, we're going to finish it off with a three at the back formation and the main reason is because Belgium's got quite a few solid centre backs um, and not too many um, fullbacks to uh, put in teams. But we're going to start off with the goalkeeper and uh, it's going to be Courtois, the Chelsea keeper. Before I do that, I'm just going to quickly put Belgium in. Uh, but Courtois obviously used to be on loan to Atletico Madrid for a number of years, but now back at Chelsea making his, I'm not sure if it's BPL debut against Burnley, but um, 84 rated keeper. Very, very good keeper on the game. Got a team this season card of 3.2k. I would definitely, definitely recommend him. He's a fantastic keeper. 88 handling, 84 position, 86 reflexes, 82 diving. Some very, very good stuff stats indeed and I really really enjoy playing with him six foot six as well quite good in corners coming out if you want to punch the ball away moving on to the three centre backs here uh, first we're going to have here is Thomas for Marlon obviously transferring to Barcelona 81 rated previously at Arsenal um, 1.3k 71 pace 63 dribbling 81 defending 85 heading 71 passing 66 shooting six foot high attack and work rate so not bad stats by anyone's means for it. Um, a fairly solid centre back quite strong um, pace Okay, it's oh, anything over 70 in a centre back's pace is fairly solid. The only downside of my personal opinion is is not that tall compared to most centre backs, and he's got high attack and work rate, which sometimes doesn't work too well. You'll find him in odd positions sometimes, but uh, it does kind of work in the way that we're playing three at the back. Uh, but in my opinion, I'd rather prefer him as a medium, a medium or low um, defensive or something like that. But so we move on to the second centre back, the one in the middle, and that's going to be a Vincent Company, 86 rated Manchester City player, um, 73 pace, 86 defending, 80 heading, uh, 74 passing, 72 dribbling, six foot for medium, medium, and for around 8K is a very, very good solid choice. 86 rate player for 8K in the BPL. That's a very, very good buy indeed. And he's very, very solid in centre-back position. Um, like Very, very similar in terms of Thomas Vermont in terms of pace. Um, good, good at defending. And his heading is actually surprisingly low. Being six foot four, you'd think he'd be quite um, good at heading. But um, he is good at heading in the game, but his, his card stat is fairly low. Um, but uh, moving on to the final player in the centre-back position, it's going to be this player here. Bertongen, uh, the Spurs centre-back, 82-rated centre-back, um, and again, another player of 72 pace in the low 70s across the centre-back region, which isn't too bad. A 1,000 coins, again, very, very cheap. High attack and work rate, which again, I just find irritating. A centre-back of high attack and work rate, um, it's more suited for a left-back or a right-back, uh, but 6'2", uh, 72 pace, um, 81 defending, 82 heading, 74 passing, 73 dribbling, um, fairly solid at the back. These three centre-backs, all very, very similar in terms of pace, um, heading capability and defending. Uh, Vincent Company, obviously, in the main one, standing out there in the middle. Moving on to the right mid here, we're going to have another BPL player, Kevin Morales, um, and um, plays for Everton, 80 rated, and he's probably one of my favourite silver, not um, sorry, gold non-red cards in the BPL in the right mid position. Um, 
80 rated, 88 pace, 85 dribbling, 75 shooting, 79 passing, high attack and work rate, 4 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot. For 550 coins, he's a very, very good player indeed. I would definitely, definitely recommend him if you're going to build a box. He's Premier League, non rare team or something like that. He is very, very solid and for under 600 coins, is a very, very good buy. Moving out to the left mid here, we're going to have this player here who actually I picked up in the left wing. I believe his default is in the left wing, so it would have cost a bit more, but it's going to be this player here, Delez Mertens, um, 80 rated player, plays for Nat. Napoli in the set it at 83 pace, 83 dribbling, 76 shooting and 75 passing. Four star skill moves, four star weak, but high attack and work rate, 850 coins. A very, very similar player to Kevin Morales. Is a bit slower, but still, like I said, very, very similar ratings. And they're two kind of identical players out in the wing. And um, we've also got various different informs. Uh, I believe there's two um, four Mertens, but that is actually in a cam. And you'll see why later I'll explain it. In theory, you're probably thinking, why is Hazard not there? Um... Anyone who has 190 coin, 1,000 coins um, at this stage of the game to go and spend on a player, which I think is pretty ridiculous um, for Hazard being that much, um, go and pick him up, put him in. He's a very, very good player. I've used him before, but I just did not feel like putting him in the team. Uh, it, would, it would make the team's price triple, quadruple. It's something ridiculous. Um, and Mertens is a, a very, very good player as well. Um, if I was to put um, Hazard there, I'd put Mertens as the cam second in form version. Moving on to the centre mid. First we're going to have here is going to be Axel Witzel. Zenit St. Petersburg centre mid. 80 rated player. Um, and this guy, again, very, very well rounded across the board. As you can see, all of his stats above 70. Um, dribbling 84. Four star skill moves as well. Three star weak foot for 750 coins. Six foot one. Medium, medium. Very, very good centre mid. And I'll definitely, definitely recommend him in this position or any holding centre mid position. Moving on to the final centre mid and final play in the midfielder role. We're going to have this player here, Maran Fellaini. And this is actually going to be an international man of the match card. 82 rated at centre mid. Uh, picked him up for 91k. Um... Uh, which is kind of expensive, yes, I know, um, for some of the other international man of the matches of a similar calibre of 82 rated. He's quite expensive, uh, but he's pretty much of an, a tank if you think about it. Look at the stats, all above 70. Uh, yes, he hasn't been playing well for Man United, but on FIFA, he's a very, very good, solid sentiment. His normal card's fairly solid as well, but 72 pace, 78 dribbling, 75 shooting, 82 defending, 80 passing, 87 heading. He's a very, very strong player as well. Um, six foot four, he just absolutely dominates the midfield role. Um, and yeah, very, very good players. Normal cards as well, good as well, guys, if you have a smaller budget. Moving on to the centre mag mid, we have this player here, Kevin De Bruyne. Um, 80 rated cam, used to play for Chelsea, now plays for Wolfsburg in the Bundesliga. 650 coins, and this guy is OP as fuck. Okay, 79 pace, 82 dribbling, 79 shooting, 80 passing, 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves, high attack and work rate. It's just that you can't ask for much else for such a solid cam. Five-star skill moves, that'd be the only good thing. And gold rare. I, I couldn't ask for much else. He's a fantastic player to have in the cam spot. And to top it all off, guys, if you have the coins, you can go and pick up his International Man of the Match card. That card has got some absolutely phenomenal stats, and I reckon it's absolutely amazing. Um, long shots and everything for days with that card. But uh, moving on to the duo up top. You guys have probably already know who it's going to be. First player going to have here is going to be Romelu Lukaku. Um, Everton player now. Um, Obviously used to be at Chelsea, now I've went to Everton for 26 million coin, well, pounds, should I say. Um, uh, cost 800 coins in FIFA 14, 84 pace, 75 dribbling, 75 shooting, 79 heading. Uh, four star weak foot, three star skill moves, six foot three, so very, very strong player up top. Um, works very, very well in the strike role, and he's going to be paired up with this player here, Klishan Benteke. Both very, very similar players, um, both very, very strong, both got not bad pace, very, very good shooting, and dribbling is acceptable, and heading is fantastic as well. Six foot four for 800 coins, a very very, very good, solid player. And they're just two very, very similar players. But guys, that's the World Cup squad for Belgium, as you can see there. Um, overall cost is probably around 110k. That is including Fellaini. If I was to take out Fellaini, um, you could get this team for... I, I don't know, you could get it for ridiculously cheap, I reckon. Fellaini in the centre mid position, you could probably get it for around 25k. And that is pretty unbelievable for such a quality team. And um, you've got various different players you can upgrade as well. I believe Company's got a team this season card, or at least an inform. Uh, Courtois's got a team this season card. Um, Deleuze Mertens, like I said, he's got two inform cards as the cam. Swap him out for De Bruyne, but De Bruyne is, is fantastic player. He's got an international man of the match. Um, you've got, got Fellaini. Um, you've got the two informs for the strikers. And then you've also got Hazard you can bong in to the team on the left mid side. So you've got plenty of players you can add to this team. But this team on the screen, you can see, 
now is very, very good, solid team as well. Um, and the Belgian players, I'm guessing, are just going to progress and get higher and higher ratings in next FIFA 15. But guys, this is coming to the end of the World Cup Squad Builder Series, guys. If you enjoyed this series, make sure you click that like button. More Squad Builders will be coming in FIFA 15, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Also, remember to subscribe, stay tuned to the upcoming series. And any feedback, anything you want me to do, put that in the comments as well. Go and check out the World Cup Squad for Germany, guys. This has been Chris. Till next time, adios.